Hey guys, it's me, Killcam again. Um, I didn't plan on making another video of, uh, ranting about Black Ops, but I made one more right before I do, uh, a montage for Black Ops, which, it's gonna be pretty sweet, I got some, I got some good shots in. And, uh, I may not like the game, but, uh, after that patch for the snipers, much easier to, uh, do shots like that, I can put in some really cool stuff. But, um... I'm here today to talk to you about a couple things. There's, uh, first, I'm going to give you a reason why to hate Black Ops. People are keep saying, oh my god, this game's so fair, it's so even, how can you hate this game? Alright, yes, the submachine guns and the assault rifles, for the most part, have even damage. So everything pretty much does the same amount of damage. And that pretty much means that anything can kill anybody. So, you're stuck with random killing. You're gonna be getting killed randomly left and right. You can be in a, a, a perfect match. Both of you are equally on each other. Aiming down your sights, shooting on someone with two different guns. It'll be random. 50-50 every time on who gets the kill. The, the, this range factor that's supposed to judge the gun's damage doesn't even really matter that much in this game. It, it may matter for like one shot or not even like most of the time it doesn't even matter so you could be using a FAMAS and you'll get turned on by an AK half the time or you can be using an AK and get turned on by a FAMAS half the time it it's so random you took out the pure fact that most of the time certain guns would win in certain situations and you just said fuck it now anybody gets a chance there's no skill involved in that it's just complete random and I guess for people that like playing poker, that's pretty fun, I guess. But th there's no skill involved with this this new gun system for at least the assault rifles and submachine guns. That is a reason right there why I do hate Black Ops. All right, everything that involves assault rifles and submachine guns completely random half the time. Another thing I want to talk to you about is the sniping. The, uh, the sniping got patched. It, uh, it works really well now. You don't have to use the variable zoom anymore. I use the regular scope now. And, uh, I just wanted to ask everybody that watched the video last time, what the fuck was the point of changing the snipers when the game first came out if they were gonna resort it back anyway? There was even a guy that tested out the snipers. And he said something like, yeah, I'm not too good with snipers, but when I tied it, uh, it, it was working pretty good. Everybody was getting snipes. They found a fucking dumbass that doesn't even know how to use a sniper, and they said, yeah, go judge him. And they, and, and after his comment, they still changed it back, so there was no point to that guy in the first place. There was no point to changing the whole sniper system in the first place. I guess if they're still going along with that plan to slowly revert it back, maybe, but... It just seems pretty pointless right now that they even did that in the first place. So, I wanted to um, get get that across. I wanted to ask some people why they, they bothered changing if they reverted back anyway. And uh, I wanted to figure out, uh, are you guys liking the new sniper patch? Because I'm loving the new sniper patch. It's amazing. It's working so well for me. I've been getting kills. I can play on Nuketown now, and it'll work so well. And they added a new negative factor to the spawns, which works sometimes, but for the most part, it, it doesn't do shit. I can still spawn right next to an enemy on Nuketown. Um, I, I mean, it, it did some good, I guess, but unless you're, you're, you can still spawn near enemies is what I'm saying. There's still the chance of that happening. It never really bothered me much except on like the really small maps. I mean, on a big map, you can't really spawn near an enemy anyway. Like, on Radiation, I never spawned right behind someone. So, uh, yeah, I mean, for the for the most part, I guess the uh, spawns work a little better. Still hate Nuketown. Bullshit. Oh, and I wanted to talk about uh, the the internet. The, the, the internet people that talk uh, about Call of Duty Black Ops and how they like it so much. And uh, one of my friends was on there, he was chatting away how he liked uh, Modern Warfare 2 better and such because the the, the, uh, the, uh, 
kind of like what I told you about the assault rifles, and they had kind of fucked up the snipers, and then he was talking about how he preferred uh, sh uh, stopping power in a game like I do, because if you put stopping power in a tier with uh, a perk like Ghost, then you got either the chance of winning a one-on-one -on -one fight looking at each other, or you got the chance of hiding from someone. I think that uh, gives a, uh, the game a little bit more class, a little bit more skill, depending on what you prefer, but... He's on there talking away, and uh, apparently he put up, uh, I, I would rather have stopping power, because Ghost is being over and everything, and then apparently someone left a comment, you're being, your ignorance astounds me, or something like that. Alright, so, if you want to talk about ignorance, how about the ignorance of saying, oh, everything's so fair and equal and everything, because all the guns do the same amount of damage, everything's random. That's not fair. That's not anything. That's random. That's complete randomness. Your ignorance is just saying, Oh, well, you, you, you brought up a valid point, but I'm just gonna fuck it over by talking about how ignorant it sounds. You know what? The one being ignorant is you. If you're gonna respond to something, at least add some sort of information that actually makes sense to what the, the reply is supposed to be. Don't just say, Oh, you're being ignorant. You sound like a fucking Michael Jackson clone, kid. Get a fucking life and actually try talking to people. My God. You're being ignorant. He brought up a valid point and that's being called ignorant? I didn't know that, so pretty much any discussion, like, that happens with between two scientists, I guess they're both ignorant now? Jesus Christ. I've seen, I've seen the re retarded people, mentally disabled people would call you stupid. My God. But, uh, yeah, I'm running out of time here, so, uh, uh I'll be leasing a montage here soon, guys, so, uh, hope you, uh, enjoy it, and talk to you later.